what I'm going to be trying next is Baberinger, Baber yeah, Baberinger Pilsner, brewed at First Wallerstein Brew Brewhouse from Germany. It's a pretty generic looking bottle too. Here, look, here's the bottle. 5.1 alcohol. I don't know the bitterness on it. Light aroma of honey, bread crust, and herbal hops. Notes of lemon, yeast, and pale malt, sweetness, and herbal hops. Dry aftertaste, mild bitterness, light to medium body. The flavors for Pilsner should be very light, clean, crisp, floral, maybe piney, earthy, possibly. Now, being a Pilsner doesn't mean it's always a lager. You can use Pilsner malt with an ale as well. This bottle cost me $3. It's all year round. I'm going to open this up. Here it is up close. It's transparent. It's a light golden, thin head. I get a little sweetness off the nose. Initially, I get grainy notes. Not heavy like a bunch of grains in my mouth, but I get some grain off of this. No sweetness at all. Well, they do say in description, could be bread crust. Yeah, possibly, but I'm, I'm definitely getting something bread in there. It's sticking the roof of my mouth, and there's a little bit in my tongue. It does say dry aftertaste with a mild bitterness. Yeah, I actually have to agree with that. As soon as I drink it, that bitterness, that breadiness, immediately hits my mouth. It's almost like it's stuck to my mouth and just wants to stay there and slowly dissipate. Some lingering flavors I do like. This one, that bitterness that just sticks around, I'm not a fan of that. I don't get hot bitterness in like it's really hoppy, a lingering, as I say, mild or slight bitterness too. No maltiness, which I shouldn't get out of Pilsner. It's a hoppy Pilsner. A Pilsner should, by default, it should not be hoppy. Compared to what I'm reading though, and the recipe, it meets some of those requirements. I don't know about the honey, but the bready stuff, the grainy, I get that. No, it's a lemon, I don't get that. But it's not clean, it's not bright at all. It does leave a grainy aftertaste. I rarely get that, but this one has it. I'm gonna try and strip the bottle now, see if I get the same flavor. I get a little less grain drinking straight from the bottle. I get no sweetness at all. But that bitterness, that stands out more than anything else. I'm not noticing any off flavors to it. There's, there's nothing nasty. The diastole, the acetone, any kind of mouth puck green flavors, wet paper, cardboard, uh, fusel alcohols, anything. Would I buy it again? No. It's not the kind of Pilsner I'm looking for. Would I recommend it? Um, if you don't mind your Pilsner having a lingering hop characteristic to it, yeah, you might try it out. If you want a traditional Pilsner that doesn't have all that stuff to it, I would not recommend it. It's not a bad beer, not bad at all. It's not terrible, I don't hate it, but I have a hard time recommending it under the conditions I expect. That's about all I have for this review. Uh, I'm gonna finish my beer off. Cheers.